So now, let me um describe the first component for you, which is a relay module. So this is a four-channel relay module. Now let's talk about the connection in the relay module. Okay, in the theoretical class, I defined what the relay module is. That it relays an electrically operated switch that enables one to control high voltage. Okay. Now we have we have the high voltage terminal and the low voltage terminal. Now talking about the high voltage terminal, look at this place. As you can see, are you seeing these terminals here? Now let me explain. You know, I told you earlier this is a four channel relay module. So in the four channel relay module. There are always 12 channel, um, terminals. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, let's look at this terminal. You see, this first one here is called normally open. The one at the middle is called the common terminal. And the one by the right here is called the normally closed. Now, let me explain this. Because, you know, we'll be making use of this on our practical and on our connections so whenever i'm really um seeing those terms you should be familiar with them and this so that the connections will be very very easy when we start the connection in proper so look at this now at the middle where we have the common terminal your life cable or you call it your main cable from the high voltage is coming into this terminal which is going to power the output so looking at the no and nc that we have here they are representing the terminals for the input what are we calling the input? They are your alternate current appliances, such as your lighting, your fan, anything. So the cable for the output will be connected either here or here. Now, what is the difference in connections of here or connection in this place? Now, if you connect your cable here, that is for the output. So now, when the output is connected to NO, that is normally closed coins won't be flowing at all unless it is being like automated or controlled using the ESP 8266 that is all you want to use the appliances you want to use that is the ESP 8266 so now then in this um normally close by the time you connect the output to this there will be a flow of current immediately that means your appliances will be powered up immediately Unless you control it or it is being programmed in order to go off. So the second um, connection point I will be mentioning is the low voltage port. Now looking at these pins, as you can see, you have the GND, you have in one, in two, in three, in four. It consists of four ins and VCC because the four ins is indicating that it is a four channel relay. Now, this VCC and this GND are coming from the node MCU, the ESP8622. That is what is going to power the low voltage here. Then, these arm pins you are seeing, the first pin, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, they are representing the pins for the output. They are representing the pins for the output. So, the output one is, you can as well say output, output one, output two output 3 and um, output 4 so the GND like electrical terms you should know GND is for ground so the VCC is just like the life but you know it is um, not alternate it is direct current so that is that about um, a relay module what we need actually for we to achieve our automation is the high voltage connection terminal and the low voltage ports so that is that just note that the high voltage connection terminal and the low voltage ports so that is that about the relay module